welcome back to Let's Play Call Party. It's the third time, actually. Because I felt like I just rambled for fucking five minutes there. And I was like, no. Even though I ramble a lot, just no. Essentially, I was rambling about... Uh, what was I rambling about again? How could I forget what I was just rambling about? I was rambling about how disturbing the original Corpse Party is compared to its sequels. And the reason I was rambling about that is because I'd done an hour long recording and at the end of that recording I did this long ass kind of rant ramble about Corpse Party being so disturbing and the way it goes about its atmosphere is quite different to other horror games in a way it's like it's it's in your face but it's not in your face at the same time it has moments where it's like I don't know it kind of feels like a mis mishmash of different styles of horror rather than just being all in your face but there's one section of the game we're an hour long recording mind you that didn't record because it crashed and that pissed me off, so I ranted for five minutes about what I was ranting, rambling about at the end of said recording that didn't end up saving. And here I am again because I felt I ramble too long there. Five minutes rambling about that kind of felt a bit of kill even for me. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably inevitably ramble about it when we get to that point. I'm also going to skip through this, because we've seen it before, we'll, and inevitably see it again every time we go for a different bad ending. By the way, the bad ending we're going for, I don't even know what it is. But what I do know is it takes forever to get to. It goes for a lot of key plot points. We'll get there. And there's one area in the game that has one scene that's just... 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 Everything about it is just fucked completely. And I don't know, it's just when I think of Corpse Party being disturbing as fuck, that area of the game is pretty much like the uh, would be a kind of go to kind of thing. Because we've seen some fucked up interruption. What the hell was I talking about again? Uh, yeah, we've seen some fucked up shit in this game, but it felt like that area in the game was on another level. You'll see what I mean when we inevitably get to it. I mean, it's just... I mean, think of like that ending with... I mean, the previous part. That ending with Ayumi, that was fucked up on all kinds of fucked levels and the ending before that we went for where Naomi freaking drowned in bugs in the description, the wording it's shit like that that makes the original Corpse Party stand out there's like a lot of people like I've read like random forums as I randomly do occasionally and I'll be like well let's google and see what other people's thoughts are on this and that and it seems to be a kind of uh, What's the way I'm looking for? Just seems like something that most people who have played the game can agree on is what stands out a lot is the way they go about describing shit. I mean, it's like, on its own, it's basically RPG Maker-esque looking and really, while it, ha you know, it can make the sprites look pretty creepy, it's the tone it sets with the dialogue and the descriptions that makes it work. Otherwise it's kind of look, you know, not as disturbing. It's like, it's misleading in how it looks. It, it's kind of like Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion in a sense, except not really. But that game has a misleading look to it. I mean, this doesn't really. It, it, looks like a horror game, it is a horror game, and it doesn't start out looking like a horror game, it's a horror game, 
and like you see the blood splatter on the wall and shit like that. you see all this decrepit place you see all the skeletons and all that but sometimes well yeah you know, that's pretty much it really isn't it but there's one area that's super fucked up even just just yeah but yeah essentially descriptions is what sells the game here on the horror it's just fucked up which as i ranted about in the previous record attempt and the original record attempt that didn't work after an hour but it crashed i pretty much ranted about that none of the sequels really have as much impact as the original here. Anyway, I'll shut about that right now. Let's focus on the present here. We're gonna have a long road ahead of us. Also, I might as well do that again. Look at that. Look at that arm animation. It's like she's broke her arm. And that's what annoys me, is the original recording. I rambled and ranted and this is commentary and all that. And it's, and it's like, yeah. I remember just comparing it to uh, Harry Potter's arm. And I was like, it felt natural the way I brought in that commentary rather than here where it's all unnatural because I'm just bringing up the original commentary I had when I was playing for the game. And it wasn't even in this section of the game either. It was a bit further down the line. But that commentary and the video, gone didn't freaking record it crashed it was bullshit <laughs> now, one other thing I was doing was playing guitar a bit at the start of the original recording and now I'm just rambling which to be fair this is usually the case really isn't it だから覗くだけだって安心したいだろ。何？脅かしやがる。どこにでもある人体模型だよ。No, I just, I just thinking here. Maybe. Maybe I'm gonna do something different to the original recording when we get around to it, but maybe, just maybe, I might end up on a completely different scenario. Because I haven't looked at the walkthrough in ages. Like, the previous part I recorded, like, nearly literally a month ago, which is quite some time ago. And that was the last time I recall looking at the walkthrough, so I'm just kind of going based on memory, essentially, for one of the requirements for one of the Alaban endings. It's an anatomical and anatomical. Is that how it's pronounced? Anatomical. I keep getting that word wrong on pronunciation, and I don't really know why. Model of the human body covered with a large white sheet. It seems almost alive, as if it could start walking around at any moment. Anatomical. Anatomical. For some reason, I keep forgetting what the bloody word is. I know what the word is. But I forget what the word is at the same time and can't pronounce it whenever I, like, think of it. And another thing I remember rambling about here was that horror game that I've mentioned on and off that I've been playing over the past month. It has a science room that has this exact kind of style with the desks and sinks and shit. And it also has an... an what is it called again? anatomical model as well I could examine those but they're all non-examinable so I don't care <laughs> no horse <laughs> not she got cut off we'll, we'll see that scene again many times and we've already seen it before so 
If you haven't seen the previous parts and just come in to this LP here, you're probably like, you're skipping other things, I don't like it. And I do apologize for that, if that is the case, but we have seen it in the previous parts. And I will let it play out normally at some other point, but not here, because we got shit to do. Skeleton sitting in the chair when what sh scrubs and a pair of glassy particular things. He's moved. I let this play out though, obviously. Now, what? I don't even know how balanced my commentary audio is. Because, you know, the original recording didn't record, so I couldn't tell if my commentary is picking up properly. And the recording I did after that, where I rambled on for too long, delete that way, I'm checking the audio quality. Should have at least done that. Because, what if I record another hour long and realize that my mic isn't on properly? I'd be quite annoyed. Well, did I accidentally skip her dialogue? But not the actual dialogue, but rather her voice acting? How'd that happen? I mean, I hit space pretty quickly, but that doesn't really make sense at the same time. It's because the audio comes out delayed in some of the voice acting for some reason. Well, no, it's not a voice acting that comes out delayed. It's the animation and the text. I wonder. I picked up the key originally, but what happens if I were to get caught here? Oh, same thing. He's like a freaking, you know, like when people just get a sheet over themselves and pretend to be a ghost. It kind of looks comical, doesn't he? He's like, ooh. Again, <laughs> it's coming out delayed, isn't it? Yeah, I think he may have a point there, Yoshiki. There probably is a way, but I don't know what the way is. Yeah, the key's not even there anymore. Look, he's he's an idiot. He doesn't even know how to get past. You know, you could climb over these realistically. I mean, I don't care if the perspective is different, because we see it like this, they obviously don't. But that's still a fucking desk. You can climb over that shit. Climb over it, leap if you have to to the other one, and save Ayumi, and then climb over and jump back. But no, 
You like you like the Sims. It's like you just go up to this like ah, 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 I don't know how to function. A box of matches is on the ground next to Take them. That's why I find weird. I don't know what the matches are actually for. It's strange. Box of matches. A box of loose matches found near an old fashioned space. The box has been overused. I mean, what the fuck? Do I use them all? Because I can't get any closer than that, because it kicks you out of the way. And I kind of doubt the matches would be used on your Shikazu there. Because... Oh wait, the door's open. Fuck it, let's, let's peg it. I didn't do this originally. Okay, things are gonna play out differently now. Okay, I've changed the scenario. This is completely unlike the original recording now. Because essentially, I let him get caught by Yoshikazu and things play out quite differently. So things are gonna play out quite differently again. So now we're doing going a bit blind here. Because as I said in the original recording, while I've, you know, seen Let's Plays of it in the past, many years ago, I don't really remember all of the endings. And when I played through the game originally last year, I only got one or two of the bad endings and the true ending. So, I don't really know fully 100% what to expect from the bad endings. I mean, I've seen descriptions, because I've looked at the details on how to get them. But I've since forgot, obviously. So it'll kind of all be kind of newish to me. Oh yeah, and I've only just noticed the music has changed tone. Ah yeah, the somber music. It's much more somber. I think it's still playing the same melody, or at least a variation of it. So that's neat. Ah yeah, we gotta do that again. Prepare for more skipping, because we've seen this before. Yuka. Yuka, give me the tape. I must play Kabiki's mixtape. So we know how to skip this place. Sensei Kibiki. Kibiki's gonna die again. We've seen it before. I didn't even skip it on the original recording for this. But now I am because fuck it, essentially. An hour was lost of recording for God's sake. And we've seen the scene before, and we'll see it again. And maybe the next time we see it, maybe I won't skip over it like I'm doing here. But we've seen it before. And you know, after, you know, recording for like an hour or so just for the recording to not actually record kind of makes you want to just go through the game at a quicker pace because you're just like fuck this shit this game code is stuck on the top of the TV blah 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 I mean I'm not gonna skip through scenes we haven't seen obviously but the scenes we have seen I'm just gonna be skipping through them like this they're decaying bodies but there is a passageway that leads out through there you're gonna go into the dark and you're gonna find this place with a ladder that goes up to somewhere, a bathroom. And Naomi goes first. You can answer Toshi on the ground floor. I picked the right choice I was going for. It doesn't really matter either way. You got first cause you could not wear any underwear because she lost them when she pissed herself early on. Naomi is distraught because it says my Seiko died. I know that's tragic, but fuck if you had to go through an hour recording that didn't succeed. You wouldn't be in quite the right mood for this. I didn't even skip this bit either on the original recording. I thought like it was gonna play out differently, but it's literally right after this scene is where 
the plot actually changes. So I'm skipping it. I might not skip it next time we come around here, but for now we're skipping it. She's lost her name tag. And Yuka says she will stay here too, even if they don't find Naomi's way out again, out again, and stuff. What? Oh yeah, I gotta get on that. So essentially, I've last seen you walk on that, and you know, on the other ending. Did we? I don't think. Did it play out like that in the previous parts ending with you know, Amy going psycho? Because before that, there were plenty of parts building up to that before I did a full switch to going for a different end first. But Essentially, they were at least alive on both sides. So how will it play out this time when I step on this? Satoshi. Ah. I guess that makes sense, actually. Then that means there's two alternate endings, probably, from that very same scenario. It's it's like freaking Yuka again caught by Kazami all over again. It makes me think, like, maybe... Like, like I said, on the original recording, I had Yoshiki get caught, right? So it played out quite differently, obviously. But since I had him run out of the room, it didn't play out the same, obviously. So I'm wondering if they branch off into two different endings or whether it's... This, well, it, w it couldn't be the same ending, surely not. There's gotta be two alternate endings from that, because there was a quite a bit of different story playing out before it eventually branched back into the main storyline going forward, but without with it just being the one team rather than switching between teams. I can't even remember how the true who end route goes. This is weird. The wrong ends, bad ends, they're just so weird in the way they branch off. It makes things confusing. You know, Yoshiki, considering... I mean, it hasn't happened yet in this, but it happened, seems to happen all the time regardless. But Miss Yui, when she died, and she was told you, get out of here! You didn't have quite the, well, I guess, I don't know. I mean, he cares, he cares about Miss Yui, they all do. But I guess he, you know, he kind of seems to have a crush on Ayumi and is really protective of her, so. Mm, yeah, I suppose there would be a lot more of a noticeable difference. <laughs> This feels weird after seeing the f the scenario that I ended up with in the original recording. You'll see what I mean when we get back to do it, back to that point and redo that and see where it leads beyond that point. But it was quite different. The tone felt well. I won't really say much more than that because I feel like I'd be spoiling how the other scenario turned out, but you probably can already kind of guess how it would have led anyway, but at the same time, maybe not. Hmm, I don't know. Oh. I don't care what the matches were all about, or maybe, maybe that's just linked to this scenario, maybe Yoshiki needs them at some point. あいつ。怖がりのくせに俺に逃げろって言いやがった。自分はいいから逃げろって。本当は怖くて怖くて怖くて仕方なかっただろうに。あいつが生きていたら
何より守りたかったやつら。Well, not including the previous part and the route leading to it where Ayumi lost her minds. But yeah. お前ら。俺が代わりに。命を懸けて守って。委員長が守りたかったのがクラスメートなら。あんたもだよ。岸沼。ああ。もう誰も死ぬもんか。ゆい先生を探して。坂内で帰るぞ。気をしっかり持てよ。お前ら。No, I wonder actually. I mean, if Ayumi's dead, she's always the one that encounters Miss Yui in that scene. So, what will happen this time? Hmm. It's like I said, I haven't played through all of the bad endings of Chapter 5, the final chapter of the game here. And the endings I've seen. Other than the ones I played through was years ago when I remember watching her Let's Play, and I've since forgot most of that. And despite seeing descriptions on the Wikipedia page for the endings, I can't really remember the details and especially how it leads into it. So this will kind of be newish to me, I suppose. この学校のシミにされちまうってキビキって人が書き残してたわかったパッセージ has been given so still somber I like that though I don't think it does that If you're going for the true end route, because shit doesn't hit the fan right there, you know. Bit of spoiler, but yeah, shit does. This 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 is non-canon, obviously. We're going for a bad end, so what do you expect? I wonder if we hear this music anywhere other than this, though. I mean, it seems like a kind of slowed down, more. Sad sounding version of the main theme, which I think was already kind of in a minor key of sorts. I think. I mean, it probably wasn't in the one that has that kind of more dance feel to it, but it might have still be in that minor key. This is really slowed down. Does he still got the matches? Yep. Wait, he's got he's got Naomi's ID. That's that's strange. I thought Ayumi was the one who picked it up. I mean, it's not exactly like she just threw it, would have thrown it to him before dying. Presumably. Music stopped. How's it gonna look this time? Oh Jesus Christ! Shinozaki! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Not gonna go back for the key. I <laughs> mean, I can understand why you wouldn't want to go back there. And the door's locked now. Jesus Christ! It's like I said, you know, it may have its gr be greatly limited by the graphical style, but that was impactful right there. What we just saw, because we've we've grown to know these characters and all that, grown attached to them and shit. We know the stories. We want to see them get out of here alive and shit. And then you see something like that, and it's just it's it's impactful. It's like. It's like the little stories for like some of the corpses you come across. When they have more than just a name to them, it's more impactful than if it was just 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 a name tag and nothing else. Which I feel, you know, the sequels kind of lacked in that regard. It's like the name tags in Blood Drive. 
there didn't really feel like there was any story attached to any of the name tags you come across other than ones that are linked to main characters or secondary characters of sorts. So it doesn't really have that same impact. I forget where I'm going at this point. Looks like it might be similar to uh, the scenario I ended up going through originally. I mean, I think this is the original uh, bad ending I was going for in the first place, but I end up going in a completely different route. It might have even been the same thing, but it doesn't feel like it would be the same route because I've seen the description for the ending and it wouldn't match up if it was the other one. So maybe it's two versions, two different bad endings that come from that one part of the game, much like you know, escaping Kazami back at the start of the chapter and letting him catch you, leading to two different... Like, escaping him leads to a whole variety of endings. Well, just getting caught just leads to the one bad ending that took forever to get to. You get the idea. It's... It's just... I didn't... Just... Just branches out. The bad endings can be pretty confusing. Appears to be the corpse of a senior high school student. I mean, all the times we've come here, it's either been Ayumi on her own, or Ayumi and Yoshiki. Never Yoshiki on his own. So I wonder how this is gonna pan out here. I wonder if there's anything interesting. No. What? Okay, this is totally different. Sense,先生。先生。All the other times, she would fall to her death saving Ayumi. So I guess it makes sense that it wouldn't play out the same way as this Yoshiki. Because it wouldn't, it would, they would, it's just, I don't know. I don't think she would have been able to uh, hold up, just keep the, the, Yoshiki would be able to climb up her back to get to the, back on ground when the ship opens up. But then it leaves it a bit more ambiguous there. I mean, how would she die that time? Did she succumb to her wounds in that room? That was quite different. But yeah, I think the chap is gonna play out like it originally is supposed to. So now we're kind of on main main street of plot here. Everything beyond this point is actually main game stuff. It's just that we're heading for a bad end. That's oh yeah, we forgot about this. Except you know, I can't really remember because it probably does branch out a lot more. If it's, you know, still on the true end route rather than a bad end route. Like, if Yoshiki and Ayumi were still alive at this point, things would be a bit different, you know, obviously. But it's gonna essentially go into main plot stuff. So be prepared to see a lot of main plot stuff for the first time. That's not linked to the bad endings, but we have to go through it to get to the bad ending. Essentially, it's kind of like that bad ending where Ayumi went full psychopath. Where we went through a lot of key plot points because it took so long to get to the ending in question. It's the same thing here. We're just going to be going through plot points we haven't seen yet. And they're quite important plot points at that. 
but yeah. Also, this shit is still disturbing, man. Countless shiny black bugs, arthropods, and worms have all converged together into a. You know, I'm freaking gonna have food in a bit, for God's sake. Into a cylinder and shifted mass so big it's like a slimy like This is possibly one of the more disgusting. Well, I say that, but the scene I was rambling about at the start is part that I got to in the original recording before realizing they didn't record. I just don't know, man. There's so many disturbing moments in the game. But this is just gross out fucking. Ugh. It's just. Ooh. But unlike last time, we're not gonna, you know, let our. Uh, I was about to say Ayumi. Naomi, not Ayumi. We're not gonna let Naomi die here in that horrific way in uh, the part before the previous parts. Because that's not what we're here for. We've already got that bad ending. And we don't want to see that again, because that was just fucked. Please, for the love of God, Naomi. I can feel I realize just fire we all square up and the screen and then the wave across and tell me it's like the black blah blah blah. Don't worry, this is supposed to happen. It's like the pool. But different. No me! Just wanna get out of here, man! Oh wait, I don't think that is supposed to happen actually. I think it's just because you take a wrong path. Somewhere around here. The bugs are overwhelming in number, they're eating the way the size of the running to my own way. I'm going to my body. I can't last much longer than this. That's fucking horrifying, but here we are, we escaped. Yeah, don't think about the insects, the bugs, the arthropods, the worms, and all that crawling around. It's just nasty. Yes, yes, And it gets, it doesn't even end there. You just wait for this. It's the sound effects that really sell this. Yes. Right here. It's horrible. It's just like the nasty ah, sound effects. Just. Ah. It's just so. ああ、ずっとしてろ。全部取ってやれ。よし。もう大丈夫だ。大丈夫だぞ。立てるか。さ、肩を貸すから。<笑><笑> You know, well, that's the type of incident that would scar a person for life. But then again, everything that's happened to them in Heavenly Hosts pretty much scars them for several lives. And Yuka has no words to say to that. And that ladder, this is automatic by the way, is where that door was. So we fell in that pit, we got a ladder, we climbed back up. Now we can't go back that way. But yeah, that's just... <laughs> now we go ahead to the second building. Again, this is, beyond this point, major plot in coming details will be mind-blowing. Hello, <laughs> slightly comical. I mean, I get what they're doing there, but it just looks silly because of the limitation. It just, yeah.
and the voice as well. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter whether it's the PSP version or this version, and that just looks comical because it's essentially like you take a, like the mouse cursor, and you just got a sprite, and you just pull them down here in a straight line. It just looks silly. I mean, I get what they're going for, but you can't really make that scene and take it 100% seriously because it just the execution of it is partially comical despite it you know being you know somewhat horrific, horrific. <laughs> don't look it's just a sprite So pretty much like everyone else that dies in that place. Except he didn't actually die in that place. Well he did, technically. But not in this version of the place, if that makes sense. Interruption, I have food. Like I was saying, you know. It's just like, ah, did we really have to go through that scene before that? I mean, Jesus Christ, imagine if I had spaghetti bolognese or something. It's just like, nope, 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 nope. That reminds me. I think it was. Yes, no. I can't remember. It was. It was either yesterday or the day before. I was watching uh, an episode of Ghost Adventures with my mother, and we had, I think it was, I think we had, uh, it might have been Indian, I think. And like in the episode, they were describing some gross stuff, and he's like, "Oh, thanks, Zach. Go into all the gruesome details." Pick up the pace, guys. I've got food. Food. Quiet principal's key. You know what? If it's gonna play out like it did in the original recording, then we're probably not gonna even see Shiki anytime soon, so that leaves me thinking, what the fuck were the matches for then? Maybe there's even three scenarios that could play out in that uh, part of the game. I mean, real, well, yeah, actually, yeah, there is three, technically. But it could be a fourth one as well, essentially. The, the third one in question is the one we've seen before, where we just peg it, we hightail, we don't get caught by either of them. And so we don't have to deal with that shit. But you have to go through that part of the game regardless, but you can easily escape them. But if you get caught by them, it leads into a different branching path of bad endings then, doesn't it? We got the key. We got the key. We got the key. It's the principal's key. A mini DV sin tape found on a shelf. I think they never just says sins better with the copious amounts of blood. I think the. I think I know what the tape actually is. And I guess call tightening it sin. Kind of makes sense. You'll see somewhere down the line. But yeah, that's another thing I remember mentioning in the original recording. Principal's key, a key attached to a gold shaped keychain. Down on the body of Principal Takamine, you to go hurry. I'm gonna make a save over this one now. Because the other one is gonna be our branching point for all the other bad and eventually the true ending, obviously. 
And I think there's also an alternative ending as well, so... Essentially, we'll go for every ending but the true ending. Save the true ending for last, obviously. But since I've got food, so I will have to see you next time. I well, I I would have probably not really wanted to record much further than that. Consider I recorded an hour-long recording, and just for it to be undone by the freaking recording not actually working. Yeah, I'll see you next time, dudes. See you next time.